Welcome back to Massive Chalice. This is Ryan playing Massive Chalice pretty poorly, actually. We had a bit of a our first full wipe, and it was not pretty. Um, currently, we're operating with a less than stellar uh, hero vanguard, and we're just hoping that our new recruits come in and that they are the best thing ever. So why don't we get started? We're not even a third of the way through the game, and we haven't lost yet. Oh, yes. We haven't lost yet because we still have all of our territory. Yes, I'm not inducting a new person because we're already running low on things. Uh, did I even promote somebody? Oh, look at this. You can add someone. Pessimistic true hit chance is probably higher than predicted. Sluggish. Potential to add the following. Uh, might just uh, make you a standard. So what that does the is... the only job I'd ever be interested in. Not much danger, sure. But you get to fight every day and inspire others. All to the cries of struggle and incapacitating injuries. Sounds relaxing. Right? So that person will add eight per year uh, XP to trainees. So that's good. That'll come in handy. Maybe uh, some of our warriors will start popping out a little more. Oh, I don't know. Trained. So. Ugh. All right. This is what we were worried about here. We got another territory attack. Um, definitely going to be important to look at what our cadence type are attacking. We've got ruptures, seeds, and cradles. Ruptured seeds, and cradles. Now, we also have to keep in mind that our keep here needs defending. Two times experience from a successful mission. And this one is a 25% reduction of current research time. Well, considering our current research time will be done in, ooh, a split second after this, and we want to defend our keep. Best jump in hope this goes better than last week. I mean, the last thing we want is another full wipe. Alright, what are we working with? A blast capper. Yes, you can go in. We'll give you the old battalion band because you are a tank. Give you some skills. Lock, yes. Alchemist, 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 alchemist. Caberjack. Well, we do need more tanks and we'll fill out the rest with alchemists I guess this guy's got intelligence HP bountiful sickly why don't we give you health potion that's fine and 10 x 10 HP man these guys are all so sickly, low fertility, slow learner, decreased sight range. Man, you'd think some of these guys would just... Sure. Well, I guess we have to just throw another one in here. This one... Wait, the other one was asthmatic? Yeah, we, we want to be able to run. So we're going to be facing off against Cradles. Seeds. Thank the gods, no ball works, am I right? Um, but those Cradles, man, they were devastating last time, and they take a beating. Good luck. Break a leg. Four eleven. eleven. seed. Okay, so we're going to play this one smart, because I think that's what my, my issue has been in the past. So nothing here. Dead. What appears to be a dead end here. So, only one way to go. So this is our caber jack. No way you're going to make it, so we'll leave you there. You're not going to make it either. You know what's unfortunate about this game? no overwatch that's 
the one thing that I feel this game is missing. And I'm just realizing this now. No! Fudge! I'm so used to right click to cancel. Rookie mistake. Beautiful. Here, see that's the problem with the cradles. 58 HP. And watch, he's gonna take this guy out with one full swoop. I'm sorry, but you must keep going. Don't give the enemy another chance. Honestly. <laughs> Gotta kill these dingleberries. Blow. Glad to see that we're off to a great start. What? Yes! Calm down, you're gonna tip us over. Okay. Ugh, oh, what? We're gonna lose another guy. These cradles are too strong. Oh, at least he gets a glancing blow. Glad he didn't decide to kill one of our dudes. But I gotta kick take that thing out. That should be my utmost priority. Problem is these guys, they like to do damage to our own units. Now I wonder if I'm close enough he won't be able to actually shoot at me. We'll see. Blows. Brutal. He uses health potion here. He's 9 of 22. That's not good. Hey, another C. Fantastic. He's gonna Alright, they got it, they got it, they got a lucky shot for one of my dudes. That's fine. We're gonna heal this guy up. He's gonna be just as good as new. And we are going to rock it. Which one of you has a healing potion left? Okay. Can you now? Straight. Back to hell. Wow. Wow. That was brutal. That was... Bad. I really dislike the way those guys like to miss. It's, uh, it's painful to watch. <sighs> okay. Painful 
to watch. Something over there. We are going to be hurting after that. Enemy spotted. Okay, we got our rupture. Another rupture. I don't have any healing potions left. You're just fantastic. This guy's just hitting all night. There's a rupture over there. Wow. These guys are terrible. I think my main problem is that I just don't have any hunters and that's not good as you can see here by me having to get up in their face a lot uh, might be best to just retreat that guy might die Good, not good. Um, you are going to retreat. And these guys are going to try and hit something. I'll take it. That, he's got no ammo. <laughs> he is useless. These guys' movement range is, but it looks like we're safe for now. Uh, I think there's one of these guys has a pushback. Awesome. That now that's tactics, folks. This guy's got one left. I think there's one right there. I would have loved a little bit more damage, but I'll take it. You've got 10 health left. Nah, it's not worth it. Ah, oh, shit. It's painful, but there's still a battle yet to be won. Yeah, there's still a battle left to one, but... <sighs> We've got... Ne they're just... They're taking me out. Nobody's business. Getting the music. I don't know what that means, but it means we're gonna die, probably. Badly. Like, terribly. Like really painful death coming up here. Especially since my guys can't hit worth a shit. Um so as you can see this game gets brutal. Oh here it is. This, this is it. You'll remember. Vera Thatch lost 11 consecutive battles, was stripped of her command, and had to spend seven years in the mounds before she was able to regain her post and go on to spearhead the Eastern Front in the War of Bones. Yeah, so it could be worse. I don't know. I do not know how it could get worse. That was 
I'm not laying the blame at anyone's feet. Corruption in one of our regions is reaching a critical level. And once it's completely corrupted, it'll be gone forever, along with anything and anyone in it. This is going south quickly. Um, alright. Well, the least we can do is bestow the will of Sophia Shanks to someone that deserves something. Ron, what do you say? Now, we just... Uh, Alexandra Aphromide has died heroically in battle at the age 16. However, the legend will survive in the bloodline. Blah, 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 blah. We will pass on this lovely thing. There you go. Uh, we could use a win, folks. Alright, small group of tuned. Caberjack, Alchemist, Caberjack, Alchemist, Caber. Where's our hunters? Really need some hunters. Do we just not get any more hunters? Is that how that works? I don't know, guys. What's this? Rupture's love. really use what if the explosions from ruptures could be weaponized adding explosive tips to cavers would push enemies around a lot farther than our standard models items perilous core with a generous amount of rupture head gems we believe that we can make their explosive capabilities portable a self detonating stone for the risk prone hero that sounds terrible seeds seem to leech some of our victims we're certain that it may be Possible to imbue a small stone with the ability to steal health. Um, we could really use some armor for our folks here, uh, especially the alchemists. What's this? Bulwark spread on top of blah blah. If we understood how their bodies achieved this, we could repurpose a suit of caper jab armor to do the same thing. That's good, but we'll we need alchemist armor and fast. Our guys fall quickly. Um, I might just, uh, considering that battle lasted, oh, not very long. I might, um, one vacancies one. I might just continue trucking with this thing, just making sure all our keeps are going well. And I don't know if we'll do another battle, but we'll certainly process it to get to the next battle. And keep in mind, we have not lost yet. This should be good. I believe you'll have your work cut out for you. Okay. You groggily awaken to Benedict Crano Wellert, staring at your arm with a smile that both confuses and excites you. Your eyes meet. Hey, want to arm wrestle? Play to win and show your heroes why you're the ruler. Let Benedict win. Embarrassment could hinder performance on the battlefield. Make Benedict arm wrestle Richard Mitchell as punishment for waking you up play to win. I don't know. These guys die so quickly, I'll just play to win. Still got it. It ends up being a match for the ages as far as arm wrestling goes, with both of you gaining the upper hand at several points during the nine rounds. Wow. Still, you never had any doubt about who would ultimately win. Benedict is a good sport about the loss, and everyone who watched the bout now respects you even more. All heroes in your ret retinue have gained the patriotic personality. Hey, that's good. Let's take a look at it. Increased movement speed, accuracy, and evasion. Lord knows we could use it. Um, let's keep trucking. This is being awfully generous. Look at all those babies popping in. There we go. That's what we're waiting for. Um, okay, territory attacks. Seeds and cradles. Freaking hate cradles. They're annoying. Uh, wrinklers, ruptures, bulwarks. Wrinklers. Have we ran into a wrinkler yet? I don't know, but it seems like this will be the best one to go with in the next time on Massive Chalice because as you can see, two dots means if this falls or if we choose this one, this one will fall no matter what the outcome. So if we choose this, this one gets another dot it'll still survive, uh, but this one will uh, lose a dot, which is probably what we want. But, 
we shall do that on the next episode of Massive Chalice. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more uh, gameplay videos and, and just general geekery. I've been Ryan Murphy. Follow me on Twitter at rmurphy. Be sure to check out the Gamers Inn at gamersinpodcast.com. It's the weekly video game podcast I do with Jocelyn Moffat where we talk about games like this and other games that you've probably seen on my YouTube channel. I uh, hope you are enjoying this series. I know I've talked to a few people who have actually gone out and picked up the game because of watching these videos, and I really appreciate hearing from those folks. And hopefully your game's going a little better than mine. Um, it's not over till it's over, but I kind of have a feeling that it's not going so well. Remember, the whole point of the game is to survive to 300 years. We're a third of the way there, and we haven't lost a single piece of territory yet. So that's got to mean something, right? Anyways, this has been Ryan Murphy. You've been watching Massive Chalice, and have a great week.